Kathy Zip with Solar Power World Magazine, and we are lucky enough to be here in Cologne, Germany at the IGIS headquarters, and I'm here with Patrick Carl, the inter international sales lead, and we're going to talk a little bit about IGIS and solar. So can you tell us a little bit about um, IGIS's solar sector? Okay. Hi, Kathy. Thank you for coming. Absolutely. Yeah. When... Uh, the uh, solar industry started to come up with uh, with uh, moving trackers, yes. yeah, following the sun, for the mirrors for Fresnel or even for the photovoltaic. Mm -hmm. I guess came into the game because they were asking for for bearings, yeah, for bearings to do these movements. And that's something you do. That <laughs> is something we do, <laughs> oh, yeah, wisely, yeah. yeah. Uh, usually made for, for the industry um, and for permanent 24-7 movements, automation, all these things. In these kind of applications, they are not very dynamic. So we, 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 we thought also, okay, it's not very dynamic. Where is the challenge? Yeah, mm -hmm. the challenge is to have materials which are working reliable even after years, which are working reliable in this environment that we have, usually a lot of UV yes. uh, rape uh, impact. We do have uh, deserts, sand, sandstorms, all these things, and we can do have heavy winds as well. Yes. So the maximum loads that can come up are, might be quite high. So they looked for a material or they look for a material industry that is stable even after years in, in the weather conditions. And having, um, uh, having experience with our e-chains yeah, in, for example, ports or some harbors yeah, for the cranes. Yeah, we have, for example, one chain uh, we took from, from Singapore, which was working in these harsh conditions over 15 years. We took back and we checked the material and uh, we found out, okay, <coughs> what is the material able to do? And after these 15 years, okay, we lost a little bit, that is clear. We lost a little bit performance, but still okay. And so we have so that's experience. That's a good fit for yeah, solar. Absolutely. Be because one thing that's really interesting about I guess is um, they really focus on plastic materials, plastic bearings. So finding plastics that can really um, exist with, with the UV and uh, heat and wind demands that you see in solar applications. Yeah. So what are some of the solar products we have here? Where are your products used in the solar array? You said trackers. Yeah. So in, in the trackers itself, um, for, for example, such half shells, yeah, then you have this uh, square tube inside and all these channels uh, or panels are connected to mm -hmm. each other and will be driven by one, so each line by one motor, and then we have this moving bearings here. Uh, not only this design we have here, came up with an IGIS solution. <coughs> Usually this line has to be, has to stand on even ground. Everything has to be aligning, yeah, aligned and even. Absolutely. Here we have a nice thing, probably we can show it. We have, a, came up with a spherical bearing. So, with this advantage that we have, we do not need to have the even, absolute even ground. You don't have to work the ground. We can do also some some small alignments here, and that is a huge advantage. And we deliver the complete block here in in, in our material. And usually, this is <coughs> uh, this is made for working in a metallic housing that they already have. And here we offer the complete solution with the alignments. Yeah? And for sure, our material, which is working for a couple of years under harsh conditions. Absolutely. Yeah, so, yeah, so I guess this is really great at, at customizing different solutions for their customers. So this is a really good example of that. So thank you so much, Patrick. Really appreciate all the information. Thank you for having us. For more videos, visit solarpowerworldonline.com.